This morning, we received a memorandum from the office of the president that the president has already made the decision in respect to the recommendation that I submitted to him last August 6. Last August 6, I submitted to him a policy analysis of the implications of the imposition of modified enhanced community quarantine or MACQ in Metro Manila and in the provinces of Cavite, Bulacan, Laguna, and Rizal. The combined learner population of these uh, two regions uh, are very uh, significant uh, in terms of the entirety of our learner population. Napakalaking grupong learners ito. As per the memorandum of the president, he has given approval to the recommendation of DepEd, which I repeat, we submitted last August 8. Thus, we will now implement such a decision to defer school opening to October 5, pursuant to Republic Act number 11480. It will be recalled that the law specifically states that the president can uh, decide on the opening of school uh, classes upon the recommendation of the Secretary of the Department of Education. Thus, we are going to use this deferment which the president has decided upon to provide relief to the logistical limitations faced by the areas placed under the MECQ. It's very large areas and as I said, involves millions of learners. Region 4A alone has more than 4 million learners and NCR has more than 2 million learners as well as the other provinces have very significant learner populations as well. So um, we want to fill in the remaining gaps of the school opening by uh, providing relief because of the logistical limitations, limitations to movement of teachers uh, and also of our staff and possibly of um, other individuals who are involved in the process of education. Kaya, um, we recommended October 5 in recognition of the need to make these adjustments. Areas outside MECQ are directed by DepEd to continue their orientations, their dry runs. We already have conducted more than 500 dry runs and the delivery of learning resources so that we will be ready for the opening of classes on October 5. Once more, we'd like to emphasize that when we open classes, there will be no face-to-face -face sessions. And sessions will not be limited to online sessions alone. This is because we have adopted a policy of blended learning, wherein various modalities are being recommended 